blessing in part two. You know, people would talk about Google Plus. You know? Uh, 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 well, because there's a Google Plus, like, uh, video call, and so we'd probably do that, you know? No, a, well, a I don't have all of that set up, and well, well it's, we're, anyways, um, uh, what do y'all think of, of uh, it, you know, I like the word Google, I like what the blogs are calling it, Google Plus, as opposed to Google Plus One, because there's the Plus One link, and then there's the Google Plus One service. Google Plus makes more sense, because then it's like I don't confuse Plus One with Plus One. <laughs> it's like... Eleven? <laughs> <laughs> uh, am I the only one who feels that way who thinks maybe Google should have actually called this service Google Plus as opposed to Google Plus One I guess so you can hear a pin drop in here damn <laughs> yes. okay um, do, do we think this is really a computer to Facebook do we think Google's going to follow through do we yeah. think I think it's a, I think it's a competitor for, for geeks, but eventually we we'll get uh, Google Plus is gonna get farmed and all this thing of crap. And it's gonna be like Facebook, you know. <laughs> and then it, it really depends on how much Google opens up the APIs. That's the, the biggest problem with Facebook right now is that developers pretty much have open. <laughs> open rein on the APIs, if I remember correctly. Uh, but Facebook's trying to scale that back. Because yeah. they don't like the open reins because it doesn't give them the control they want. <laughs> so it'll be interesting. One nation under the Facebook. <laughs> well, you know that is the competition here. You know we have things. It's like the the big stories right now are how do I transfer my Facebook to my Google Plus? And <laughs> you know, can do that. <laughs> yeah, it's like you know in Google's. Um, it, it, I, I could swear Facebook already offered something like this, like a way for celebrities to verify and own their Facebook account. Like, or is Google the only one doing that? Or was it Twitter uh, that's that... Twitter did? and that's Facebook, I believe. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure about Google Plus. Yeah, like if you try and go register Bill Shatner, it'll go, please prove you are actually associated with Leonard Nimoy. <laughs> 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 If, please, please send your fake hair in as proof of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we want your Star Trek acting. <laughs> <laughs> you must have the voice to know you are Bill. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> uh, it's like I, I, I don't know. I can't honestly. I can't decide what to make of Google Plus. Uh, uh, the round area. Uh, yeah, I. I I get, but it's just, it's, at the end of the day, it's another Facebook, and it's another Facebook that happens to be under Google. So, if Google Plus takes off, this is literally Microsoft versus Google for who do you belong to as an internet citizen. And I'm not really comfortable with either one of those, you know, that's... Uh, you know, neither, you go to a forum. That's <laughs> <laughs> like... You know, it's like I realize it's the Zucker Pope, but Microsoft's invested in them, along with the CIA, along with, you know, what? That investment. Ah, it's like, it's just, it's, it's, it, it, both of them are creepy. You know what, Enron's not a good idea at the time, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, it, it's, <laughs> I, 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 I realize I sound like an old fart talking about these with the phobia, I'm just... And I'm obviously jaded because of the life experiences I've had. I, I am I am very jaded against trusting people with my information, for obvious reasons. Uh, but it, it's it's really getting to the point where opting out is not an option. Like you have to opt into somebody. I, I, honestly, if y'all had to choose, w would you trust Google or the Zucker Pope? Uh. Google, I guess, because of the lesser two evils. <laughs> they don't sell your information, they actually keep it themselves, you know? <laughs> they don't share with other people. Well, true, yeah, but Google wants you to be more of a consumer, and they don't want... It's like, this is my data, not yours. It's like, what, you, I'm not selling this is my data, you know? <laughs> uh, I would be a little concerned about Google. I don't trust the Zucker Pope either, but... My concern with Google would be every so often Google just decides to ban somebody and getting banned from Google 
does a lot more damage than getting banned from Facebook, at least right now. So if you get banned from your Google Plus account, does that mean you lose access to all Google shit? You know, that's... Uh, uh, all I can say is ask Jordan. <laughs> yeah, we should ask Jordan. <laughs> Well, he's not really banned. He's just banned from AdSense. Yeah, he's just banned from AdSense. He hasn't been full-on banned. I, I know people who have been, like, full-on banned. Like, they can't use analytics. or Like, if they try and sign up for a Google thing, they're, they're like, they get blacklisted. Well, what they do is that they can't cover what their SEO tactics or what? Some of them were black hat SEO people, and Google has frowned upon them using the Internet. <laughs> Created new interesting links. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> uh, uh, what about you, uh, Dark? I have to choose a lesser. Oh man, I don't know which one is the lesser of the evil. <laughs> um, Facebook selling my personal data kind of creeps me out. Not gonna lie. Um, Google keeping my data creeps me out. Not gonna lie. <laughs> so it's like, who do you go um, well, it, <laughs> yeah, no, and, and, and that, that's the thing. One of the things the Google Plus service is selling right now is like we allow for privacy, you know, which Zucker, which the Zucker Pope and all the head people at Google quickly took advantage of. <laughs> um, you know what, this should be a family forum, like like maybe a, like a group of friends should go on their own forum and stuff like that. No, like, no, no, no. Like, that, that that's what the round area is. You know, it's like it's your it's your close trusted group, and it's just like that's just for y'all. Uh, no, but, we have it be its own domain or something, and then the community kind of ships in with it. Yeah. Well, the, depending how they set up the API access, a third party could easily provide that and encrypt it. Uh, but uh, the thing that's really going to matter, okay, they're providing privacy for now, but down the road, you know, originally... Yeah, that'd be kind of cool if it was like the Wave Protocol. I don't, it's not the Wave Protocol, but, you know, that'd be cool if kind of Wave like, kind of took off in a different way. They could have respawned it, you know... Yeah. Uh, wave. <laughs> for, for people who don't remember, way, way back in the day, you could actually have privacy on Facebook. But each month, the Zucker Pope, you know, raised his altar and said, "What privacy must I sacrifice in the name of private in the name of profit today, Almighty Dollar?" <laughs> so, um, and progressively, it all, it's it's all going away. You know, it's, well, Facebook is a private-owned company, so he doesn't really have you know, like. He really doesn't have a legal incentive to keep him from like, okay, I don't need to make this much money because it's a privately owned company, not publicly traded. But publicly yeah, traded, they legally have to. Yeah, yeah, What were you saying, Marcel? He said he'll be back. Oh, damn it! I was about to ask him what he thought. Damn it! Uh, it's no. Um, no, I, I, I don't know. It, it's just, it, it, I, I. I like that Google's trying to offer the privacy right now, but I'm thinking, you know, this. what incentive or promise do we have that a month from now, a year from now, ten years from now, they're not going to decide, well, you know, in the interest of the what's good for Google, we've decided that isn't really good anymore. I mean, if you try and sign up for too many Gmail accounts now, Google wants to call you. Like you have to give them your cell phone, and they have to call yeah, you I, right then and there. It's like, you, that never. You do this a decentralized social networking where okay, you have, it'd be like basically where everybody has their own email address and they all play nice well with each other. You know, kind of like that. Uh, so Whereas every platform right now is like you can set up your own social network server or whatever the hell it is. You know? So so you want to live in Utopia.com. Basically, yes. <laughs> you know, I bet that domain's taken. <laughs> Go there. <laughs> was an open source Facebook that wanted to do that, essentially. Yeah, and it's like they never really caught on. Okay. Well, that's because I don't have money. <laughs> money makes the world go around. Hey, hey, that's blasphemy on this show. First rule of open source, they don't need money. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Tell that to you or Marcel. <laughs> yeah, uh, Marcel, what's your opinion? Uh, you, do you... He already left. He, he, no, he just came back. Uh, it's like, uh, 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 do you even have a Facebook? We know why I don't have a Facebook. We all know why I don't have a Facebook. But do, do, do you have a Facebook? I, I make it very clear why I don't have Facebook. Okay. I, I thought I made that very clear. If I have to reiterate, quite... <laughs> Quite simply, I do not believe that any other entity should own my content. 
under under any circumstance, no matter what it is. I mean, I've actually tried to. Well, uh, well, 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 the perfect, you know, the idea of a perfect social network would be true peer-to-peer network, like the yes, that's what I was talking about. It'd be like, like an email address. Yeah. Basically, where it'd be like it's an open protocol where you can make your own cloud, like social networking hub. You know, like where everybody plays nice with each other. You know, like uh, whatever. You know, like we like have a wave protocol kind of thing. Like, but that would fail, you know. Well, the problem with that is you could actually use syncing. I mean, uh, you could actually use syncing. If you had a device, like if you always need something to publish, publish out so that you're always online, that people can receive and see your stuff. I mean, you're always not always you're not always going to be on your desktop. You could probably go on your phone. You could go on your tablet, whatever, your laptop, and all of those can be controlled at any one time. Like if you're if you actually add content to your published uh, social hub, of course it has to push to the other devices if they're on, so that you know if you shut it down, the other ones are are. Uh, uh, on, you know, you're, you can continue to publish your stuff. Well, and, and, and the, the, the two problems with the P2P uh, model there is, A, it has to reach a big enough critical mass, which the, you know, wave never did. Uh, but the other thing it needs to do is it needs to also, it needs to be hybridized. It needs to have an offline mode, so between syncs. Your offline mode is turning it off. So because I, that's, I mean, do we really always want our crap on? No, 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 bit. That's not what I mean. I, I mean, when you turn it off, the network can still function without your node or your node distributing the P to P. Like, it's, it's stored both sides, client and cloud, so the network still ha is, has all the data. Oh, you mean it's suspended in the client? Yes. Yeah, so, but see, I don't want the data in the cloud. What I'm saying is, that, well, what I'm saying is that your, your node is the publisher. As, as far as the cloud is concerned, it's only a, merely a transfer of information from point to point. But it, it, there's no repository unless it's, it's, unless it's a necessary sync. In other words, where there's, a, there's a hold pattern that's not publishable, but it simply exists to push to the other devices, and once that occurred, it removes itself. I, mean, I, am, I am very critical of ownership and, and how that's controlled. And the only medium I think that the social, that my social network would facilitate, if you want to talk about a, a cloud hub, would be the would be uh, a gathering place for simply a marker and saying, "Yep, this person has been here." And if you're gonna, if you're gonna, if you want to send a message to them or something, it, it can facilitate a temporary holding place, like an email server does, until that person does come online to receive everything that you've stated and then it can download and then it removes itself. And in other words, it's still point to point with maybe some bathroom breaks in the middle. Yeah, but how would you yeah, but how would your ideal like a utopian peer to peer social networking system would take off, you know? Well that, that I mean that's the I mean like how does it get financed? I mean, how would it take off with marketing and finance? Because you know, like you could. Well, see, I don't believe in ads. I'd say that. I'd say that. Um, well, there's also marketing. A very like, small, maybe annual fee. Yeah, you know, there's word of mouth. There's polish. There's like a whole yeah. bunch of factors put it because that's how Facebook got popular. Then, yeah. then start with that much money. You got a little. Yeah, you start with a small. Yeah, you just, yeah, you start with a small circle of people, and then eventually gets you know bigger and bigger. But see, I think that all you need is a small fee from somebody yearly to keep a small. Uh, see, that, that, that's the thing. Um, more and more, we're transitioning to nobody wants to pay for nothing. They want it free, and you know they'll bitch all day about the price tag that makes it free, but mm -hmm. but not enough. To you know, forego the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, to you. Uh, okay. Wow, that's a lot better. Uh, I wasn't saying anything, so I don't know if it was. No, no, no I thought it was your system because I heard an echo or reverb. Uh, anyways. <laughs> from my system. No, Kami's system. It wasn't from your system. <laughs> no, it can't be my system because I'm wearing headphones and the microphone's way far away. I don't know. Okay. Was well, not using headphones. I'm not. I blame the host. Yeah, we all blame me. It's my fault. <laughs> what else is new? Now, what we're talking about with the peer-to-peer -peer thing. <laughs> yeah. So basically, that's the way I would do it. I'd say, look, if you really are serious about maybe conducting 
uh, communication with people where you, <coughs> excuse me, where it's less intrusive, where you don't have to worry about Farmville and Mafia Wars and getting gift bags and all these idiot applications, and you're there really to communicate with people um, that you know or are just trying to discover, then this is the place for you. You know, this is this is really is designed. You can conduct business on it if you want to. Maybe we could add and eventually get into competitive products like yeah, WebEx. I wouldn't really mind. I wouldn't really mind as much if you get Farmville in there. Is like okay, you know, like if there's a protocol to like remove like automated stuff. It's like oh, I, um, I, I like you like I guess I put something in Farmville and stuff like that. Yeah. I, I don't know. Then the social thing becomes just a game. The one thing that I got when you tried to the Facebook was the seriousness of finding long lost friends. But then I just you would find them and, not, and then they would hardly come online. And then everything gets swamped by take an IQ test or you know, look at this color blockchain. And so, I mean, that's yeah. what? I mean, what? Just give me your email. Now I'm done with, with Facebook. Now that I've <laughs> find, now that I've met you, let's just give me your email, your phone number, and because this is so all to me is worthless. It's absolute crap. So that's why I call bubble gum. No, no, no. You, know, you, know, you must you go. They love it. They chew it all day. <laughs> yeah, you must go through the Facebook. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't really mind to opt in to the bubblegum app. Be like, okay, this bubblegum app will get some of your information. Will like auto post stuff like you, yada yada, and so forth. And you can, you can on your on like the, the other person's personal account. Okay, block all like um, like automated messages from like company API X Y Z. You know. Well, and 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 we can like, opt in to like okay, you can have that whole company there can have my information, but all this is just my little private cloud, so you know. Well, no, it's like, and at the end of the day, uh, the, what that comes down to is a, a fundamental design flaw in advertising, and that the whole point of advertising is to shove a message in front of your face that you don't want to see. That, that is the whole point of advertising. Not to shove a message in front of your face that goes, this is something you're genuinely interested in that you actually want to know about because you hadn't heard about it, but you really do want to buy it. That's not the point of advertising. That hasn't been the point of advertising since before the 1920s. Ever since, ever since somebody figured out that they can use psychology to get people to impulsively do things they wouldn't otherwise do, and if they target the right people and abuse them in the right way, they'll get money out of them, that has not been the form of advertising. The form of advertising has been shoving things people don't want to see in front of them and forcing them to look at them as many times as it takes. <laughs> Yeah, it's like... <laughs> and friends, like, sold to the consumer. It's like, okay, you don't want them, but we're going to sell them anyway. Yeah. 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 Well, See, and I guess the other thing that the, peer, that the network could facilitate would be a template. In other words, the photos reside on your, on your peer hub. And for, like, a friend to see it, they go through the portal, which does not have the content, but requests the content from you in a in a common denominator way, so that we all have standards of, of how photos are viewed and how con you know how maybe documents are sent and, and read. But it's important to me that the content must main, be maintained by the user and their ownership. And see if we can make laws where. You, I, I guess using I, 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 I rent you space or something that I rent you space and it, it becomes that this is yours and no matter what uh, 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 in other words I want the law to have to go through you to, in order to get the data instead of coming to me uh, but, so but then, let's see that's then that doesn't work for advertisers it doesn't work for selling ads but I'm, not, I'm not here to sell you ads see I'm okay, saying okay because I'm putting most of the load on you versus that, my that, servers. I don't need a big fee. Well, no, but, but, but the, uh, the other problem with that is another problem, and this is one of the reasons all of these sites want everything under their control. Let's well, say I let you host your pictures, but I provide links to them. Okay, let's say you do something to your server, like you change where the where the pictures are saved, or you change their names, or you delete some of them. But no, you don't. Not how it worked. It wouldn't work. It's just a portal. I I I, 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 I understand that. It, but it, 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 
it's a logistical problem to solve because you need that to be complete. You basically you need everything I do here to mirror over there. Like when I sign into, if I sign into Gmail through Thunderbird and I try and set up an IMAP account, even if I have an enabled IMAP in Google, Google knows, oh, we got an IMAP request. Turn on IMAP. You know, it's like it needs to be. It need, the whole thing needs to be that smart, which it isn't right now. I see. I look. I know physical code that. I mean, because I've done it before, where there's a a temporary portal that goes to several boxes and databases like um, all over the world and, 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 and file content that it doesn't. It, you can just put it in a damn directory, and I can get it to display. From the source oh, I, no, I, 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 I'm with you. I'm a big fan of the decentralized internet, if for no other reason than to help alleviate congestion. You know? <laughs> I mean, it can be done. It's just, how is it? The only hiccup that I see is the finance model. Are people willing maybe to pay 10 bucks a year to do this if they're really serious? Maybe not. Maybe, maybe you can do some other finance. Like, you can opt into, like, okay, make it free, but, okay, I can always opt into to exchange my, 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 some of my liberties for, like, for free, you know, like, for, you know, for, like, not paying for, you know, you can, like, okay, so, yeah, I, I guess it could be, like, if you need to do a publishing, like, okay, um, you, you tell the system that I've created this directory with my photos in it, and that UI processor could be an ad, but, I don't know. Yeah. Well, no, but see, the, and that, 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 that's relevant into the information, no, but, but you have um, to opt in for that, you're like, you can, you can, you can, you have an option to pay, you're like, the okay, problem, the ads, you know? uh, uh, unfortunately, yeah. the problem with pay for it or opt in to free is that you have automatically killed the social, because the re for a social to be of value, it has to reach a certain size. And people having to pay for it or having to opt into free or so, so on and so forth sh shrinks the rate at which it grows, it disincentivizes growth, and basically you've created an anti-social network with a very small group of people on it, which then, which then diminishes the value of what you're being and asked to pay for. Yeah. It's a self-defeating cycle. But when okay, you, well, why don't you have just be ads for you, like, okay... I don't mean you opt in for that. I mean like, okay, you can you can go with whatever. You like, let's call the let's call the let's let's pretend it's the wait protocol. You like wait, you know, like um, you know, like with, let's pretend it's like an email protocol. All right, um, blah 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 at yahoo.com. Okay, you go to Yahoo. You like there will be ad support, but if you did your private server thing, you know, I don't know. Basically, you need to figure out a way to give it away and still have it pay for itself, which. You know, there are ways to do that, but that's a very integral business model. Anyways. Yeah, but that's my ideal, uh, uh, going to the original question of a social network, you know, that's... Now, the question is, if that ever works out, you know, if we can get the, um, some of that stuff uh, sorted out, whatever, you know, like, get popular, you know, like, whatever the place... Yeah, can maybe it doesn't, it doesn't. Most of my thinking is never really popular, as, as I mean... That's quite obvious with my iOS rants. You know, that uh, yeah, well, the, the, Marcel, the problem with some of your thinking is it's utopian. And unfortunately, we live on Earth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's utopian. It's the, I'm not asking people to change. Uh, in other words, the reason why I would say my iOS rants aren't utopian is because it's obvious right now, after like quarter two, that 84% of the units are still Windows based. It tells me that the iPad is not approaching into the place it needs to, to actually be quote unquote post PC. I am actually feel that I am arguing against utopian ID. To say that we're post PC to me is utopian. Um, no, that 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 that's that's Jobsian. Very different thing. Okay, Jobsian. <laughs> Alright. Now when it comes to when it comes to Facebook, users are declining in the US. So they're on a decline in the US. It's reason, is what I'm saying. Security is a problem, and people are beginning to get saturated because uh, of the rising up. <laughs> now, uh, place, you know what? I will buy that if a year from now that's still taken. Because every so often, th this is like the Facebook curve. We go up. Facebook breaches a bunch of people's privacy. Ah, Facebook! Oh damn it! I want to get back on Facebook. Ah, Facebook! I want to get back on Facebook. Ah, Facebook! I was like, like almost ninety percent of them come back in six months. Well, I'm saying U.S. users are diminishing. 
our numbers of the, 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 the numbers of the U.S. share that's diminishing is being balanced out by international users getting on board to where these, a lot of third world countries are starting to get their population into Facebook, their member count is increasing while ours is decreasing. Okay, so what, uh, that's fine. Facebook has a balance of users where it's out U.S. in international. Okay, whatever. But the, my point of it is, is that there is a user behavior that I'm seeing that how many dummy accounts now exist, that they're, they're, these are becoming problems. And it's telling me that, that Facebook is truly not as powerful with consumers as many articles and, or just many people would like to see. I, I, I hope you're right. Nothing would make me happier than for this whole Facebooking well, thing me, to be a fact. Give me years that actually takes, I mean, do you actually know, I know lots of people on Facebook, but m most of them have left. Most of them don't uh, keep it up. And um, I, I just can't, I just can't, I can't find someone I know, and it's a pretty large circle that is just an avid Facebook. Uh, I, 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 I know some people who have actually uh, abandoned their account. They didn't delete it, but they abandoned it. Uh, particularly uh, a friend of a family member. Basically, they got Facebook social hacked, and somebody was pretending to be them in like some dungeon somewhere going, I desperately need money to get out of this foreign country jail. Please send money to someone. So, and some of their friends <laughs> fell for it. So they're like, they, they send emails to everybody. I have not been kidnapped. I am not in a foreign jail. And I am never using Facebook again. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, most of the people they sent emails to, they got to sign up for Facebook. <laughs> so, so I'm like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so are you saying in your circles your Facebook is gaining more members or losing? Uh, well, I, I'm in this like odd circle in that I'm in a circle of people who don't want Facebook for the most part. Like they're they're anti Facebook people, so right. I'm not a good person to ask for the average Joe Schmo on the street demographic. They're like diametrically opposed to having a Facebook, even if they need it to get to vote, you know? I think most of the people in my family is like, the, the only thing that they hate about the Facebook is the, uh, the internet drama. That's all right. Do they use it a lot? Or, or they well, I don't really know. I just think they have to go every now and then as they check and see what people are doing and stuff like that. But other than that, you know, it's just really, eh. No, it's like, and have you seen that co that commercial? I want to say it's for Toyota or whatever. Like, they, they have the, the girl there. I read an article. Well, I, I read part of an article. It's like, and it said old people are getting unsocial. So I was really adamant about getting my parents on Facebook. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's <laughs> like, they only have 19 <laughs> friends. I have 600 and blah, blah. This is living. And I was just like, you know what? That... Uh, uh, it's meant to be ironical and making fun of it, but it's not far off. It really yeah, isn't know, far I, off. It seems like they're exaggerating, but there are people like that. They're, 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 that's the thing. They're exaggerating, but not by much. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess what I'm seeing, what I'm after is that I feel that these social networks um, have more dummy stuff going on, or it's dominated by teenagers. <laughs> Uh, like MySpace started off very popular, but then MySpace's identity became a music site, essentially. It's where bands became the dominant uh, demographic. And, of course, a lot of people like to go to music, and so they go on and, and, they, and, and establish itself that way. Facebook, I find, is becoming more, the, like, how many saying drama and games that I'm, that I'm saying that people like to go on and... and but do, do, it, it do, is losing its ability the, to do what it originally set out to do, which I... Which I think it's 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 in it's in a decay form and maybe finding its identity as people who want to. I, I, I you know, what, what, what they want to be is the world's phone book, but it, it, it's that that may and be. And that's my point. Nobody's gonna really. I think people are withdrawing, and then they're becoming anonymous. That, in other words, Facebook attracted me because it seemed like a, a credible thing. It's like. They're vetting, they're vetting people. I don't have to worry about the stuff that I worried about on MySpace. So now I can really come onto an honest-to-goodness, credible network and try to find people. And that's what I think they originally set out to do, but are now a very different animal. 
So, and, do, so do you think what it's going to wind up becoming is Facebook's going to be like you're in the Facebook phase of your life, like somewhere between the ages of 10 and 14, you sign up for Facebook, and somewhere between the ages of 20 and 26, you kind of don't go to Facebook anymore? And it's like, yeah, yeah, I think that's where the demographic is, is going again, because do you remember when the Internet... In its old days, we all used the the Usenet and and, and <laughs> all the God, yes. That was dominated by by teenagers. There was mostly adults because younger guys really didn't want to do it. Uh, it's like, uh, well, you know, they, I guess usually the young ones were the hacks and the pirates. <laughs> and, I mean, they just didn't really. Uh, most of the well, if you're that much of a geek that you're a pirate, then then you know you're. I guess you're at the level of a pro user is what I'm getting at. And that's what I feel is still dominant um, out there because that, you know, you know, business and serious use uh, of a product beyond just fun is still a, a demand out there. And, and uh, I think that's something that, that, that my idea of a social network would try to fulfill. You know, I try to make services that could help her, you know, being productive. And you know what? If it's if it's something to say, hey, I want uh, that you in your web and your little personal publishing hub is out there to say, you know what? I, I'm I've got uh, the next Call of Duty, whatever it is. Or well, the no, next, it, it, the, that's the <laughs> real thing. The the yeah, idea I, of the Facebook was that it was supposed to. Aside from being the world's phone book, it was supposed to solve the problem of, I have this idea, and now because of the social graph, I can be found. But it doesn't do that, and if you're honestly trying to use Facebook that way, it's a full-time job in and of itself. It is. It is. See, what I, want, what I would want to provide on my social, on my social network is, I know we're indexing from the parks. So... Predominantly, just searching for people is going to keep you out of all the fluff and fun until you decide to engage. And then, if that person's personal hub allows you in, which at that point, the content's a free for all. I don't care. I don't. I don't own it. It's the it's the user. And if you learn something about that that long lost friend that you don't like anymore, that's not my problem. I facilitated the contact in a serious manner. And if they they don't want to abide by content that you want, like if you if they're only interested in hosting game servers and shit like that. Then obviously, you you know you found them and you can uh, hopefully get their email and just ignore their their hub. You, that's not shoved in your face all the time. Is what I'm what I'm getting at because they do own the content. They can turn off our devices and you not re- receive the content or the photos or what have you. Um, I, I think that that it, I look at communicating like a telephone call. You can talk to me while my phone is on. If it's hung up, you're not getting my shit. So if you want, if you want uh, photos, I you know I pick up the phone. You know if we could, you know hypothetically. Yeah, yeah but, but but what you're describing there, Ben, is the anti-social network, and that actually goes into something uh, Matthew just you know brought up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, out of curiosity, where is Google and eBay and Microsoft in that list? I don't know. I just found that on this. Uh, <laughs> <Instagram, laughs> so yeah. You yeah, found a, a CNET list that says Facebook's at the bottom of customer satisfaction, but I'm like, I, I'd be curious to know where you know Google, eBay, and uh, Microsoft are on that list too, because you know these are companies that obviously aren't going away anytime soon. But I don't know if you've ever tried to reach Google when something goes wrong. Or eBay when they suspend your account for no reason. You know, that's just, I'm just saying. Mark, you find Xbox 360 for internet and new, like a whole bunch of them selling because of Uber, Uber expensive, you know, and they're sold out, you know, and yeah. suspend your account. <laughs> but yeah. eBay is a, is, a, is a service. I mean, that's. Are we talking about social still? Or, or uh, well, it's, 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 it's customer satisfaction. Well, yeah, that was customer satisfaction. Uh, but, you know, I would argue Facebook is a service too. It's just a different type of service. I guess. I mean, uh, yeah. Well, you, sell your, you sell your privacy for the features and functions they add. So. Yeah, you know, say well, we've seen, but see, privacy is dead. What you really want is to have every thought you ever made, along with every embarrassing picture and every mistake you ever made, public online for every future employer, spouse, and or possible best friend to hold against you. That's the future, man. <laughs> okay, but let me say, say this: you, you're, you're not. I think privacy has been handled 
now along with Facebook is because those that are on there that are not some sort of fictional person or using it anonymously, usually you have to be their friend for them to go, go into their world. Uh, their uh, 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 but that, that's where the rub comes. Uh, the, pro the real problem with Facebook settings right now and the, and the, the legitimate Facebook horror stories are things like a school teacher that set their settings where their chats and their PMs and their postings in certain areas were private. In other words, I'm talking to my grandma or my friend using the IM client. Uh, but Facebook did an update and turned everything I had private to public and then I have to go in there and reprivatize it but because I didn't get the email uh, because I hadn't checked my email today, one of my students went in and monitored my chat with a family member just venting about, man, these kids are stupid as hell, and now the student's mother's in here, and I've been fired from my job for just having an honest, man, my job sucks moment. <laughs> now, yeah, let me get to that. That, now, that wasn't my context I was talking about. My context was that I, you said my idea was the anti so I, I, I believe that most people want the call hang up feature. You know, it's like my, my stuff is on um, when I make the call. I don't believe that most people want to really sell themselves um, out there. Uh, now, that's a flaw and uh, in in an idiot bug of Facebook, and I, and I would always, anybody watching this, God help you if you really are doing personal shit on, on, on Facebook. Like <laughs> yeah. And stuff, you know. Uh, have you heard of email? Text messages? You know, uh... <laughs> Email is yeah. Yeah. Uh, wait, 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 everybody, email is not private, unless it's encrypted. Uh, you get my drift, man. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not on a publishable hub. It's just on an interceptable way. <laughs> mm, it is interceptable. It can be. Email is my destination. However, I, I don't honestly see any employer firing somebody. Uh, actually, I take that back. That has happened. Employers have terminated employees for private emails intercepted. Yeah. See, I, don't you think that the, the ownership of content peer-to-peer -peer, solves that problem of you're never going to run into this, this idiocy of the teacher's conversation getting out there? Because they control the publishing, they can control the protocol, and um, while it, it is none of the school's business to fire that teacher for something that should have been personal, that they, they it's like you're in a court of law. You have to strike something from the jury that they can't admit into court, even though it was openly stated. It cannot be used in order to incriminate the, the defendant. And that should be... Uh, okay, no, 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 but that's your first mistake. Under thinking that we actually do things in a court of law anymore. No, 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 no. It's much more, more fun to hang people in the court of public opinion. <laughs> that's much more fun. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's sad that that that, that went on uh, for that teacher, and I think something peer to peer would would uh, handle that because obviously a hacker has many places to hack versus a central authority to hack or some sort of scam like a bot. Bots can easily run on Facebook without. You don't need to be a hacker. You just be a script. Kid. No, no, no. You know, you don't even need to be a script kitty right now. All you need to be is somebody with nefarious intentions these days. You don't yeah. even need to have any intelligence. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like a single point of failure versus many to try to. You know, like kid, you know, like he he added his teacher on Facebook. You know how? Um, he while the teacher was away, he just he just snatched her door for a second and added himself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, that's the other thing. I mean, you think, the, the first thing, honestly, you should teach your kids before you ever let them get online is don't be a dumbass. Don't tell anybody this. Like, list everything they shouldn't tell anybody and then understand they're going to do it anyways. <laughs> 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 then you're going to try to pick up the pieces later. Yeah, it's like,